somebody asked me how I feel about the George Lloyd situation. I mean, it's like, it's out of control, man. I mean, I'm a black man. I've been in a lot of situations like that. Um, a lot of racist people, like racist cops don't like us brothers, man. It could be jealousy, it could be the melanin in our skin. Keep us down, hold us down. Notice every time you see a black celebrity or a black person rising, they want to shut that down. Nipsey, Pac, a lot of others, man. Uh, you know, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, the, the list goes on, man. Marcus Garvey, I mean, they want to cut us short. They don't want black men to win. They might say that, but they don't want it, really. Now, am I racist? No. I'm just saying the racist cops that's out there doing injustice to black people. Then when the co cops go to court, they get off, you got an all-white uh, jury. They don't care about you black people. The racist ones don't care about none of us. You got your knee in the man's neck for seven minutes. He's saying, I can't breathe. He's already handcuffed. What more do you want the man to do? That ain't even cool. You know this man is struggling, can't breathe, you're finna die. If you cut off your passageway of breathing, what's gonna happen? You're gonna die. No oxygen coming through your body. Your blood don't circulate. Your brain don't work if there's no oxygen. Everything in your body is there for a reason. It does something, controls some of your body. And this is broad daylight. Damn, I mean, how much open to the public can it be? Broad daylight, they doing this. In Minnesota, not even Canada, Minnesota, other parts of the world, West Coast, East Coast, South. I mean, it's out of control. We've been going through this for years, man. Black folks is tired. So you wonder why they're going in Target, looting, and taking things out because they feel they can't vent no other way. That's why they're breaking their targets, Walmarts and grocery stores, whatever it takes. And these are already uh, probably stricken people. Government ain't helping them, man. One stimulus check, that's not enough for these black people. We tired of being treated this way, man, and this is the outcome. Now, martial law come in. That's going to be a sad thing, which means our rights is already being uh, violated. They can do what they want to do to us. Come in, take you from your, your kids, the kids looking, crying, whatnot, your father gone because might he got the coronavirus or he might have to have that chip. It's an agenda going on for us black people. They start with the blacks, but they don't care about poor whites either. That's just true. It's reality. Billionaires got all the money. They control this. That's why this thing is shut down. But I ain't going to go deeper than that. Looking at all this like pawns in the game. Notice nothing happens to billionaires. You know, but... It's sad the way they do black folks, man. They beat us and beat us and beat us and beat us and dog us out. Treat us worse than a dog. You know, if they treat a dog better than us, they would treat a dog better than black people. Now, some of you black celebrities got money thinking you're exempt. You really ain't. You ain't. Because you black, you live in the areas, whatnot. They really don't want your black ass there. As soon as they feel like getting rid of you, they do that. You just got a little money for the courts and stuff, and you can buy cars and houses and stuff. Get you a better lawyer, but you black, you can't change that skin tone. I don't care how much money you got, that ain't changing. Your birth certificate says black male on there and black female. Black females don't have it like us, but they get disadvantaged too. Jobs and stuff, and we overqualified, you won't hire us. They get us knocked off and killed, you know, when we try to make it to the top. One black man gets there, they find another black man that's gonna sell out and take him out. That's how that goes. Notice, notice when black people. Uh, go through these things, man. We're the only ones really hurt and affected by it. But now you're seeing whites out there, and that's really cool. Like I said, all whites ain't bad, and I'm not a racist. I'm talking about the racist whites that's like that. That ain't cool. I done had guns to my head in Vegas, pulled out in the streets. All I got is CDs and stuff in the back. Me and my homeboy. We out there selling music, making money. I guess I was in the wrong neighborhood. I should be able to drive anywhere I want, but I'm black and I'm in a car, I guess, drug dealers have. I'm in a Charger driving. And yeah, I looked up the car and said, driver, get out, get out, driver. Third person, get out. We know it ain't nobody in the back seat. It's only us two, so you got the wrong car. Anytime somebody do something, you got to have a victim roll up and point at the person and say, hey, that's the person right there. No victim came. I don't even live that type of life. I used to be in the streets way back when I was younger. I ain't been out there in so long. 
and I'm a black entrepreneur trying to get stuff ready for my family and my daughter so we can eat the right way. But it's always the racist people that don't want that to happen. Now, George uh, Lloyd family, George Floyd, if he got some kids, they suffering, his mother and father and family going through, and the rest of the black world suffering because that, that black man could have been me or anybody else walking out with a regular day, playing basketball or walking to the store or anywhere outside, going to get some clothes or you're going to get some stuff for your house or get some fresh air or do some running. Like they killed your brother out there in Atlanta. Jogging through their neighborhood, shot them down, and now they in jail. Which they might not get a lot of time. They always find lesser charges. If that white jury there, they ain't gonna get a bunch of time. They're so crooked now, they let them out the back, put an ankle bracelet on them, home monitor bracelet. And they might be free somewhere. They'll show you they get locked up, but they might not really be them. Enough is enough, man. Us black folks is tired, man. We so tired. We can't do left and right. We got a nice car. They want to pull you over, make up anything on you. Anything on you, get your black ass locked up. And if your, your woman were worried about it, she asked him, what'd he do? He didn't do nothing. We just drive and they might grab her or shoot her. They're knocking black people down like we just some game to them or something, like just not real people. We got families out there and we got businesses and people that love us the same way y'all do. And you know that, you hate us, you jealous and you fitting out on us. You hate the fact that we there, your presence, we still here. That's what bothers you. I can go on and on for hours about this damn topic, man. I just wanted to get to the nooks and cranny of it. With that being said, you black men stay strong, man. Protect your family and get ready to get ready to mount up, man. We're gonna need it for each other. The hate is not each other, man. It's the racist people that's doing this to us. That's the hate. Keeping you down, keeping you in the ghetto locked up on even food stamps. I'm not saying that wrong with it, but you can get off that. You can uprise that, man. You ain't got to stay there. You can start your own businesses. And even then, they want to come in and see if we legal. You know, uh, if we got business license there, they want to lock us up there. They want to say we selling dope out of there. Like you did your brother Nipsey, man. Nip did a lot for the community, man. I hate to see that young brother gone, man. He was doing so much. And once again, you get to hate. They hate to see somebody winning so they feel they can take that person's life. It's a higher power. You got to deal with that, bro. With that being said, your boy Black Nate DiBiase, 523, like and share my videos, peace.